In this video, our Canadian Rockies road trip has brought us to Beauty Creek Hike on the Icefield Parkway. We didn't have a great night last night. We ran out of propane when we were cooking tea. We had to use, luckily we've got like a little backup cooker with little propane bottles, but it also meant that we didn't have a heater last night, so Scott's tired because the cold kept him up a bit. Uh, also, it snowed quite a lot last night, and because we have our windows cracked open a little bit um, to let air circulate a little bit, um, we got snow inside, so my hiking boots were full of snow. My seeds and stuff like that was covered in it, but luckily it hasn't had too much impact. But anyway, it's another day. Well, it's still the same shitty day, but we're going to make it better by going on a nice hike. So... This one is Beauty Creek. Looks like we may be guessing some of this hike. It is a little unnerving going on a hike that's like covered in snow and there's no tracks and there's no real indication of exactly where you're supposed to go. It's a little bit scary, but it's just so cool. Look at the little ice floaty. Well, I think this looks like a pretty good spot to free camp tonight. What do you reckon? Not bad. There's a glacier there. There's a glacier up there. There's a glacier at your window. Not that you can really see much at the moment. Mm. That mist. You can see that one up there though. That's cool. Mm. Yeah, up there. Yeah, and a cute little frozen pond here. Adorable. Last night we pulled into a um, camping spot uh, and it was really lovely and I was really exhausted so we we pulled in pretty early, it was like 4.30 and had a nap and then got up and locked the van up and went for a little walk. At the Basca Glacier, same as same water as the waterfall we were at. So the water from that glacier. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. And then when we got back I unlocked the van and we haven't got central locking so I thought oh, I'll unlock the rest of the doors so I pushed the little thingy like that but I, I pushed it down and set it up and the key was in the van so basically I locked us out of the van and we didn't know until it was like starting to cool down and it was time to cook tea um, that I had locked us out of the van. Uh, so we had nothing. We had no tools or anything like that. The camping ground had a couple of people staying and luckily one of them had a big piece of metal. Um, like, like, a, like a metal coat hanger but kind of different. I think it was like a marshmallow toaster. Mm. Anyway, so Scott was able to shimmy it down here and press unlock. Um, but yeah, he was a bit dark on me for a little little while. <laughs> a little still dark, dark isn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, believable. 
<laughs> yeah, so it wasn't wasn't so good, but I mean, it was bound to happen with the central locking not working and having to rely on, you know, me pushing it the right way. It was bound to happen. So anyway, now we've got a preventative, well not a preventative, but a um, solution for if it happens again. What'd you do, babe? <laughs> well, I was gonna kick you out of the <laughs> last night. That, that like would a, be a preventative. That seemed like a pretty good preventative. Misha? Yep, that would work. But I didn't. No, it's true. No, well, I hit the wire under the car. I put the wire under the car. Mm -hmm. So if we needed to use that again, we could. Yeah, that's right. And I hit a spare key under the car. Yeah. So, yay! That won't be an issue again if it happens. Will it? We were, well, I, I certainly was extremely grateful for when we got in last night and got to sleep in our nice warm van with no smashed windows or you know, huddling outside in the cold trying to keep warm overnight. Um, yeah, I feel extremely, extremely lucky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, today's another day. See what you can get up to today. <laughs> it's pretty rainy today, isn't it? We're about to go for a very short walk. Let's go. mountains and things out there but you can barely see them barely make them out but yeah pretty cool little spot it's neat to see how smooth all the rock is where it's been worn down by the water making pizza in the van our first van life pizzas yeah from fresh dough Mm -hmm. We are using this as a rolling pin. It's it is... battle it's good for. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it. I think it's quite nice. It is a alcohol made from honey. And it, I think I quite like it. Well, anyway, I've had a little bit too much of it already. And I'm She's drunk a as a happy. skunk. But we use and it I as like a rolling it. pin because we don't have a rolling pin. Because, you know, van life. And We're in a van. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have everything. That's it. You got anyway, a multi purpose, some so tools. We've, so, we've made some dough. Mm hmm. Nice little dough balls. Nice buns. <laughs> and those aren't too bad either. <laughs> this is not what we do every night, van lifing. We don't always get drunk and make pizza. But we should. But <laughs> <laughs> we should. <laughs> You're right, we should. It's what van life should be about getting drunk and making pizza. Where's this? jam that you speak of. It's not in the fridge. It's not in the fridge. Oh, is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Do you put that in the... <laughs> Good job. Nailed it. Thanks. Top. Okay. Check her in. Mmm. Pizza! It's such a mess here, but... 